Okay. Uh, at first glance, it might seem like Vancouver is inviting Toronto Mayor Rob Ford to come visit, but uh, these new uh, 25 cent crack pipe vending machines. Did he create them? They're not for him. Oh, okay. No, they were recently installed in an effort to keep disease from spreading by cutting down on broken pipes being shared. Making them more accessible will lead to less infection of HIV and hepatitis C. So interesting. Yes. 25 cent crack pipe to the people. Oh, it makes I, complete sense. It makes I complete mean, if sense. If you're in, in a controlled environment, you're you're saving them the the, the problems of running into a, yeah. broken pipes or bad needles. If you you know drug users like that, are they're going to use it. Anyway. They're going to use it anyway. They're yeah. going to be around. The problem is, is on the street, the value of these crack pipes being shared are go up to ten dollars. You don't see and it as broken. enabling in any way. No, not in any way. Not in any way. Because they're gonna because okay. they're sharing. It's kind of it's, it's kind of like putting condoms in high school. Yes. You know, kids are gonna have sex anyway. Might as well teach them to protect themselves. For everyone, for everyone that gets infected in that city, it yeah. costs the taxpayers two hundred fifty thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, but unlike sex, smoking crack is illegal. Well, <laughs> they're gonna do it yeah. anyway, though. It's yeah. the thing. You see, what I'm like, saying you're giving them something to do something illegal. Sex isn't illegal. Well, it's it's not, this is not saying, hey, please go out and smoke disease. crack. It's, you know. yeah. I, I mean, I, I certainly see right. your argument, but you can see mine, right? Well, no, there is an not argument. I mean, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough thing to, to do, but it works right. in this particular case, yeah. and okay. it saves, you know. People's lives, yeah. basically. Okay.